and we're on. Do you, you want to like scoot down? I feel like I'm like, hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, can you even? Oh, there we go. I also just have like zero torso, so I look shorter than you. I feel like this is when I used to like play pretend with my friends. Like we're going to pretend like we're like doing a radio show. On like photo booth? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm just like, hey guys. (laughs) Why is this cracking me up so much? I actually cannot deal with it. Okay. How how do you suggest I No. Hold it like this. It's just heavy. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> hey, you guys. Welcome to Circle Time. Okay, hold it like that. You're telling me to hold it like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold it. No, just hold this. Hold That's it. what I was doing the first time. Okay, do that. Do that. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to another episode of Circle Time. How are we? We have a extremely exciting guest joining the circle. And it is my best friend, Emma. Hey, I missed you guys. We're oh. going back to back on video, if you don't know. Hey. This is, looks so crazy to me. <laughs> like, Emma and I, sit, it looks like a high school like um like news show yeah like the class <laughs> the elective you take in high school mm-hmm. i get no like like we had like a tv like every friday they'd play like a yeah. tv like a news tv show yeah i had one of those this is what it looked like okay oh Ooh. <laughs> hello you guys emma's here i figured you know i've been talking about how i was like a little bit nervous to have guests on i know i've had cody come on but you know, he's my husband and that like doesn't really count, I feel like. So I wanted Emma to come on because really, really what it boils down to is the fact that I just wanted to hang out with Emma and I also wanted to record a podcast and then and now here we are doing both. Here we are. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have you. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> are you OK? <laughs> oh, oh, OK. Well, here we are. So Emma's back. And listen, I figured I don't even know what I was just about to say. Okay. But like this is going to be just a fun, chill episode with my best friend. And Emma was on years ago at this point. Yeah, I don't even remember what month it was. It was like, I don't remember what month it was, but it was like 2022. Wow. I wasn't married yet. We were talking about my bachelorette right. party. We did a little bachelorette wow. recap. And then Emma never came back. Never. And it was sad. And the circle missed her. It and did take us many tries to record that episode. Yeah, I, I forgot to press record. We and recorded. one time it stopped. Yeah, it was just or like. Or maybe it was you and you were playing it off as the recorder stopped. No, one time it stopped. Yeah. Yes, because I, I used to have issues with this little machine that I record on from home. But not anymore. Not anymore. And so here we are. And Emma's back. And if you don't know... I feel like I don't did we describe how we even met? I don't think that we did. No, we just got straight into the batch. Yeah. But now like we don't have anything like that going on in our lives. So we're just gonna talk about ourselves and how Which we met. Something we do so well well you know what emma and i our favorite thing to do is sit and on the couch and have couch time which means that we just sit and talk for hours and hours and hours and last week emma and i actually went to lunch together and then i called her on the way home and we continued to talk yeah because like we just have so much to talk about and we had a time limit and that just is like really counterintuitive so it wasn't fair yeah so we had to we had to talk on the phone after lunch for a while and we just had so much to talk about and now now we're bringing it to the circle because why not, you know? Why not? Emma and I met in college. She... Um, actually, we met when I was in high school, very briefly. <laughs> oh my God, that is actually so true. So Emma's sister, her older sister, was a year older than me and she 
her and I were in the same sorority. And Olivia is Emma's sister's name, and she was having a party at her house. Yep. And Emma attended. I did. One of the parties. I was like a senior in high school. Yeah. And like about to go to school with everyone. And right. so my sister invited me. So and I like met meet Kelsey the girls. so briefly in the kitchen. Yeah, we did. And, and we ha- probably didn't exchange any words. I don't words. think we spoke. Like I was like, what the fuck is this girl doing here? <laughs> Which ca- I'm just kidding. carries out to be a theme. For okay. The first well, few I didn't, times I didn't we knew each other. I didn't think that then. I did eventually think that though. That's true. Okay, I didn't think that then, but I just, I, I'm sure I said hi. Like, I, I don't yeah. think I've ever, like, not said hi. It's no. Like, Olivia was like, this is my sister. I wasn't just, I didn't just, like, stare at you. Ew. Ew. That's what I said. It's fine. No, but we met, and then we didn't speak, obviously. No. But your boyfriend had a crush on me. You're right. <laughs> my high school boyfriend did tell me afterwards, he was like, that girl with, like, the curly hair and the blue eyes, like, she was so pretty. And, of course, it was my first boyfriend, and I was obviously threatened and i was like she was fine. <laughs> yeah, i was like she's actually really ugly actually i just actually, i didn't she's fine i couldn't even bear to look at her i actually thought every other girl was like just a little bit prettier than her <laughs> but it's fine if you think that and emma told me that eventually one time and like gen- yeah. obviously i haven't forgotten it because like no you could never <laughs> no like that's pretty that's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy <laughs> and nobody it's- was like saying that it was just like yes, I were. No, I was awkward. You were just like awkward. I don't know that I'd say awkward. Shy. I don't know that I'd say shy either, but I don't know what I would say. Okay. 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 I was a virgin. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Let's just cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase. Okay. That's that's the that's what that's what it was. That's why I was just a little bit awkward. So anyway, so then Emma came and she she wanted to rush the sorority, and I was like. Everyone was like obsessed with her because she was Olivia's little sister. And I was like. A legacy, which is like kind of. Oh, a, oh my God. Don't say. That. Were you going to say big deal? Well, I was going to say. And the I reason was kind people of a are. a big deal when I started college, you well, guys. Well, it's not because I had some like winning personality and everyone was like, we're obsessed with no, her. It you was did. like kind of just the order, the hierarchy. You did. You did. A rush is so weird. Sororities are it's so weird. It's so bizarre. Yeah. I but don't. It brought us to each other. Thank God. So I would do it again because yeah. Of but anyway, so everyone was like, "Oh my God, Olivia's little sister is joining me!" Blah, blah, blah. And like, she would like walk in the room, and like everybody would like flock around her to like meet her. And I was like, "You guys relax. Like she's, she's just a girl, you know." Roles reverse. This time, everyone's yeah. like, "She's so cool," and you're like, "Actually, she's." I was not. like, "Actually, I don't know about her." So I, I like didn't really give her the time of day. No. And then. Flash forward about six months, beginning of second semester. Mm -hmm. I was doing some digging on Emma's Instagram, as I do with everyone. I was Instagram stalking Emma. And I realized she had posted a picture with a boy. (laughs) Can we talk about this? Yes. Okay. I realized she posted a picture with a boy. And I just so happened to be obsessed with this boy's brother. (laughs) What are the odds? And yes, we he went to like, did his brother go to high school with me? I don't know grade wise, but he did go to this school. Oh, well, yeah, he, he had yeah, to have yeah, been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Either way, so they went to my high school, so I knew them from from that that way. But I was like, wait a second, is Emma dating this guy's brother? Because I'm doing anything I possibly can to get this guy to fall in love with me. <laughs> and it's weird because he's not texting me back. It's weird because he's ghosted me for sure. When how fully ghosted? How long had it been since you had? Oh, um. Maybe. (laughs) Did it mean to put you on the spot there? No, I want to say like a year. Okay. (laughs) Like it was like an ongoing thing. Then it stopped because he literally said, see you tomorrow. And I, to be quite honest, have not seen him since. (laughs) That was the last time I saw him. And it's funny because I feel like they, we had similar stories in that I had known the guy that I eventually dated for a little bit, like literally a winter break fling. And then he went back to school and... (laughs) Ghosted. He basically <laughs> never talked again. And but, so I didn't know that, I, that, that she yeah. had since been ghosted. Bold of you to still have the picture up on Instagram, but <gasps> What picture? You had a picture up. That's how I found out. Oh, I don't think I had been ghosted yet. It was There was like texts oh, after you, he went okay, back to school okay, okay. and it like slowly oh, dissipated. Okay, so anyway, so I saw this picture and I was like, wait a second. She gets it. So I stomped up to her at a party and I say stomped because I was wearing Doc Martens. And I was like, just tapped her on the shoulder and I was like, did you date? And then I said their names. 
And she was like, said the last name. Yes. And she was like, yes, but I think he's ghosting me. (laughs) And I was like, his brother ghosted me years ago and I can't get over it. I was like, I was like, wait, no, his brother ghosted me. And then we were like, it was literally, and then you were like, wait, I love your Doc Martens. I always want to wear my Doc Martens, but I never do. And I was like, you should wear your Doc Martens. And really, literally that moment on, she slept over, like you were sleeping yeah. over at my place. Yeah. Like we were texting all the time. Yep. And that was really it. Then it never stopped. It never stopped. We eventually taught preschool together. Mm-hmm. We've really We've seen been through it, it all. We have been through through it together, and it's all thanks to those two loser boys. Like, sorry, you guys. Hopefully, they're not <laughs> listening. I'm sure they're still literally obsessed with both of us. They have to be. They are. But um, you guys are losers. <laughs> <laughs> Get a life, okay? You'll never do better than me and Emma. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, like, no, they were... Why were we sad over them? I... I think about that often. And that is a little message to the circlers out there. If you've been ghosted by someone that you think is really cool, a few years down the line, you're going to realize that they actually were like pathetic, qu- quite lame. And you're going to do so much better in life. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so that is how we met. And then it was like, really, I do think people from our sorority are like, wow, we're Kelsey and Emma still friends. Right. Cause <laughs> we're only two years apart, but we were, our age is two years apart, but our grade is like three. I was a freshman and when you were a, a senior, senior and we became friends in spring. And so I think people didn't really see us become friends because it was like the tail end of the school year. And right. then all of a sudden you're out of college. Right. And then but then we were like working together. I don't know. Like and then so then. Yeah, I feel like every like two, three months I ask you, like, what do you think people think about us be hanging friends. out and like being friends still? Like, I don't think they understand. Like. I, you know? No. But no one gets it. No, they probably think it's so bizarre. What is this? Oh, a pimple patch. <laughs> Why do you have a pimple patch on oh, your I hand? Oh, I took it off. I just like stick them on my hand <laughs> because I don't want to walk to the trash can. And then I forget about them. I do it with apple stickers too. <laughs> I've had an apple sticker on me for like days. That's so crazy it's... of you. Okay, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Well, I didn't know if you were having like hand pimples or something. <laughs> no. What are you gonna do with it now? Put Throw it, in my it on pocket. my floor. Put it in my pocket. Okay. Jeez. I don't. I don't mind it. No, it's okay. You're okay. right. I shouldn't leave them on my hand. It's not ladylike <laughs> of me. This ad is sponsored by Byheart. Byheart is an infant nutrition company built from the ground up to deliver innovation on behalf of babies and parents. Their mission is simple and it is one that I love, make the best formula in the world. This year, my friends at Byheart, the only American-made formula with globally sourced ingredients to use organic, grass-fed, whole milk, never skim, are celebrating the ways in which they never skim on anything, especially your babies. Byheart never skims on healthy fats using only organic, grass-fed whole milk, and whole milk is full of healthy fats like naturally occurring MFGM, which play an important role in babies' brain development and growth. Byheart never skims on their standards. Their formula is made with certified clean ingredients, plus it has no soy, no corn syrup, no GMOs, or palm oil. All things that are very important that we love very, very much. If you're curious about Byheart, redeem your welcome offer at byheart.com slash podcast with code CircleTime20 for a limited time. Additional terms and conditions apply. Anyway, anyway, so that is the origin story. Emma is 28. Yes. Wow. And I'm 30. <laughs> Sorry, there's like remnants of pimple patch on her hand still and it's like kind of scaring me. It's like one smooth circle. On- You're just going to like rub it till it comes off. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of bothering you me. You little genie. Um Okay. <laughs> anyway, so there we are. There we have it. Bring you back to speed. Now Emma's 28. I'm 30 and we're besties. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. So what the hell is going on in your life? What the Actually, hell? Emma was just telling me about her dog. Yeah. And I feel like we do have some circlers who call in and they're like, I'm thinking about getting a dog. Don't. <laughs> just kidding. I love my dog. But just like really think about it, especially if it's a bigger dog. Yeah. Yeah. Size. Yeah. 
matters. <laughs> yeah, no, you should you should be careful with the dog that you choose. Yeah. I love your dog. I love him. He's having some digestion issues at the moment. Yeah, we switched him to like adult food mm-hmm. and we weaned him off of his puppy food is right. anyone interested in this anyway I'll i keep am talking. well do you want to know what the first thing she said to me when she came over today was she said i think i think having a dog is just as hard <laughs> as having a baby and i was like listen i agree that it's like training wheels for having a baby yeah do i think it's just I said as minus hard? the the physical i part. but that's not that's neither here nor there. No, I just don't want to. Like, sorry, I keep bumping into That's you. That's okay. I don't want to undermine birth. <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't say having a dog is harder than childbirth. You're right. So I feel like it's different. Okay. If you said, like, the Pilates class I took yesterday was harder than childbirth, I would be like, I don't know that it is. Yeah. But... It wouldn't go that far. Right. But, like... I think having a dog is good training for having a baby. Most definitely. More than I realized. Yeah. Because he's pooping all over your house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's decided to cry uh, in his crate at 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. And then I let him out and he runs outside, empties everything that exists in him, <laughs> shits all over our porch. So I'm on my hands and knees at 2 a.m. <laughs> wiping it up because I can't leave it there. Do you have a hose? Yeah, but like the it. drainage on the porch isn't the best. Okay. We have one of those like squeegee things that, oh anyway. God. So then he shits his brains out. Dad. I'm on my hands and knees cleaning. Of he course. gets the zoomies. Yeah. Runs inside, proceeds to projectile vomit <laughs> on his bed. So I come inside thinking, whew, all done. Finally did it. No. There's vom. There's vom everywhere. Right. So then I strip his bed put it in the washer do that whole thing and he's still running around the place like he's like it's a party at 2 (laughs) a.m closing the bar and then i have to like lure him back into his crate which how do you do that oh we put a leash on him (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) oh really nothing crazy i just put a leash on him and say it's time right he goes back to bed bed. but he's done that for about four nights in a row now and it's like yeah are you done now right He'll, he'll get the hang of it. Yeah. He's always had some tummy troubles. He's always and had tummy troubles. And do you want to know troubles. what the thing is? So does his mom. Exactly. Yeah. So like, he's like, he feels comfy. Like you gave him that. I really did. He has SIBO. <laughs> he also has SIBO. Ah, <laughs> uh, my little king. I love him. Most of the time. Just kidding. He, All the time. No, he's so cute. Yeah. It's he's like, the cutest. Maybe, you know what? And I'll give it to you because Otis is sleeping through the night right now. So like you are having a harder time than me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But I also love Otis. Yeah. All the time. Right. I mean, it's like anything... Anything he does, even if he's like pooping all over his... Like he peed all over his face yesterday. And it was probably still perfect. Well, like he went like this... He like jumped because he literally peed on himself. Yes. And I was, and then he was like kind of chuckling. Like he thought it was kind of funny. Good sense of humor. And I was like, why are you peeing? Like, because he, you know. Get a little little pee pee tee pee. I need one. Yeah. Did you guys know that there's a thing called pee pee tee pee? You could also maybe just use a wipe. You could use a wipe. I just forget sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But like he could pee all over his face. He could literally do anything. And like, I. I'll, he's always perfect to me. Always. Oh my God. We slept in our house the other night. So Otis slept in his room and we slept in ours for the first time since having him. And it was it's crazy. So crazy, but it was like such a good night's sleep for all of us. So we're like kind of moving back into the house. So like we'll be out of this boy's room. So soon, and we'll be back in the beautiful circular, s- circular heaven. Oh, because this is boy. Can you not a- record in your room because it's like loud? Well, like there's just like people. everyone's in there. Yeah, like I can't record. It's hard to. I need to be alone, or with totally. you. You know. Yeah. So I have to do it in here. Okay. But like soon enough, we'll be back with like for the girlies in the circular room. Right. And I can't wait. And it's so cute. It's looking really it's cute, you so guys. so cute. I'm excited for you to see it. Is there anything else going on in your life? For example, I've just, dis- I've started wearing earrings. Um, I've decided to start swapping out my earrings. Your little studs? My little studs, I've decided or to Or the start- front ones, because you never wear f- front earrings. I never wear fronts, but I've been, I've been trying to wear like dangly is more 
fun. Do you have them now? No. Oh. Because it hurts with the headphones. You always have danglies. I always do. I just don't take my jewelry off. That stresses me out. Okay. Like when you have the earrings and you're not scared that they're going to get ripped out of your holes. No, but like you have so many more earrings in your holes than I do. I know. I do have so many holes. So many. Yeah. No, I'm not really worried about it. I only will take most of my rings off. Okay, not your aura, obviously. Not my aura. Oh, you guys, I had to send back my aura ring. Wait. By the way. Why? It was, it was fully cutting off my circulation. Mm. Like I was taking it off and underneath was like bright white. Okay. And I was like, something feels wrong. Did here. I like, leave you astray with the size? No, no. Because I tried on Cody's mom's also. I think I just, I just did. I did. I led myself astray. Thank you. You're welcome. So I ordered a bigger size. It's on its way. <clears throat> and then I'll be back tracking. Same color and like design. Yeah. Geometric. Scheme. Scheme. Yeah. Is that what it's called? I got the, yeah, I got the like, the kind of like flat on top one. And I got silver. Cute. Yeah. So... We'll be back auraing soon, but like for now, like I needed to keep my finger and I felt like I was accidentally going to have to get it cut off. Okay. That's what would happen, right? I, if it's stuck. If you have to cut, no, like if your circulation. I don't know, but I do know that if you had to lose a finger, this is probably the one you want to lose. Not your pinky? No. My brother-in-law taught me that because then you can like still grab things. Like, oh. This is pretty useless and this you have like strength and holding cups and proper. Okay. That actually makes sense. Yeah. God, he is so smart. He's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Well, now anyway. I know if you guys, if you need to lose a finger, it's your point. Choose this one. We're going to do a little fun Q&A. Okay. Because I figured while I have you here, who knows me better? Oh, gosh. Besides my husband and my parents. You. Maybe your brother. I think you know me better than, and Kevin, sure. Okay. But like, you're, you, I think you know me better than I know myself. Okay. And I think I know you better. It's beautiful. Than you know yourself. You probably do. And therefore, we're going to do a fun little Q&A and we're just going to, we're just going to talk about each other okay okay sure emma cals nope not you nope my other emma (laughs) (laughs) no don't mind me i'm surrounded by emma's don't mind me and i wouldn't have it any other way i think we're ready i'm gonna get us warmed up with a little bit of most likely twos oh oh (laughs) oh i'll try not to cry (laughs) Like at my bridal show. Your bridal shower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Most likely to. Let's do it. Who is most likely to get a tramp stamp? Me. Yeah. One hundred percent. Definitely. And I would and I would. You and, and it'd be cute. Thank you. It wouldn't be trampy, it'd be cool. No, I would one hundred percent do it. Yeah. Kelsey. Okay. Let's count down and say our answers at the same time. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? Are we going to say or point? Actually say because some like, people just listen. Yes. God, <sighs> she, she is looking out for you, Circler. I'm just so. thinking about you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next. Who is most likely to vow never to drink again and then get drunk the next day? Both and I was neither. Gonna, I was going <laughs> to say both of us. I, yeah. I feel like you. Maybe because I have like a fear of a hangover. Right. But like. But I'm not someone to just make rash decisions like that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I am. I wouldn't say you are. Okay. Have you ever made a rash decision? I don't know. That's why I look to I you. I don't think you have. You know me better than me. <laughs> I, don't think you, I definitely don't think you have. Okay. Okay. Next up. Who is most likely to leave a party after 20 minutes? Three, two, one, Emma. Yeah. Me. Not me. I will stay until I'll be the last person there. She'll continue the party and invite everyone, everyone come everyone at the bar to her house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I I don't want to leave. No. I'm I just would. getting in my groove after twenty minutes. That's true. I've started like acquiring who I'm going to invite over after. Yeah, you're making friends, you're <laughs> yeah. giving your number out. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Your address. Now I'm now I'm showing <laughs> people pictures of Otis. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So probably um probably Emma on that one. Yeah. 
But you you don't do that often. No, but I do have like a switch. And when I switch off, like yeah. there's no coming back for me. Right. So it's probably in everyone else's best interest that I'm remove myself. Right, right. But that's only once in a while. Only once in a while. Okay, last most likely to. Who is most likely to believe their horoscope? Oh, Emma. Yeah. Duh. So what happened at 321? Sorry. <laughs> We did so it excited. Once, but it's you. Like, it's obviously you. It's me. It's That's how you were me. raised. Yeah. My mom's a spiritual individual. Right. And like. But I take it with a. I'm not like. I don't know it to the extent that some people do. Like your risings and all those crazy things. Yeah. But I know enough about it. Right. No, you know, definitely. Like, I feel like you know what's compatible with what. See that? That I don't really know. I know the months. I know who's in it. And I know which signs I find myself to not be drawn to or to be drawn to yeah or to be but that's based on my experience and not what the horoscope actually says I'm just like I found a trend but like you I feel like you are like I only want to have kids that would be a blank my mom was that way right she planned us and my sister was kind of that way but I don't know that I've thought about it that far okay who knows Maybe I should think about it. It's 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 harder to think about. I feel like it's harder to plan. Yeah, I'm just not like thinking that far ahead yet. Right. Like I am, but I'm not. Right. Yeah. You don't need to think about that. Exactly. Right. Okay, I, but I would say you definitely. Like, <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Like I. Yes, Emma. She me. teaches me. Okay. Sorry for lacking the three, two, one on that. <laughs> Do you still want to be my friend? Yeah. Thank God. Okay. So as I've discussed, obviously, on here, I want to enjoy my first summer with Otis to the fullest extent. You know, I want to go on walks outside with him. I want to take him to the beach. I want to be like out in my family's backyard, having barbecues, going to parks, just being in the sunshine with him and my family as much as possible while the weather is nice. But because I'm going to be spending some extra time in the sun, and as you know, I've also been struggling with my postpartum hair journey, I need to make sure that I'm taking the necessary precautions for the health of my hair. And that is why I take Nutrafol. Sun, salt, and SPF can all affect the health of your hair, but Nutrafol can help keep your strands feeling strong all summer long. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. Everyone's root cause of hair thinning is different, okay? So a one-size-fits-all approach to hair growth does not cut it. Nutrafol has multiple formulas that are tailored to give your hair what it needs to grow throughout different stages, such as postpartum, which is what I mean, and menopause, as well as for different lifestyles, such as plant-based diets. You know, there's something for everyone. While many supplements rely solely on ingredient studies, Nutrafol clinically tests final formulations to ensure their efficacy. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after taking Nutrafol with women's hair growth supplement for six months. With Nutrafol, building a hair growth routine is simple. Purchase online, no prescription required, free shipping and automated deliveries ensure you'll never miss a day and results can be seen in three to six months. I've talked about Nutrafol so many times before. You all know I love it and I'm honestly like so happy about the improved hair growth, decreased shedding and visible thickness I've noticed while incorporating Nutrafol in my routine during this postpartum journey. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. So get results you can run your fingers through. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering my listeners $10 off your first month's subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code CIRCLETIME10. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and stylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code CIRCLETIME10. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code CIRCLETIME10. And let's get back to the episode, shall we? All right. Are you guys ready for the hard-hitting questions? Oh, God. We are so ready. But for these the- are not who these or- are. Well, I don't know. We're going to find likely? out. They're not most likely. Okay. They're just hard They're hitters. Just switching it up. They're randos. Okay. Love randos. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you are going to say? Like to each other? No, no, no. Like to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like to yourself. <laughs> no, no. Like if I calling Emma? <laughs> no, I think this is just a general like call. Ge- oh, this is in general. Like you're calling to make a reservation. <laughs> are you going to rehearse it? Every time. Never. Really? Yes. I'm like, just wing it. <laughs> I'm like. Just show up. I'm like. Hello, I'm on me. <laughs> hey, do you have any availability for 
cute. <laughs> That's me no. before I make a call. No, I just do it. Really? Yeah. Don't you get nervous? Not at all. I have to do it for Chase, too. He hates being on the phone like that. Oh, that's sweet of you. Yeah. I don't like it either. I don't mind it. I don't really think anything of it. Oh, okay. Good for you. Thanks. That's really impressive. Sometimes honestly. it's like over. I think I'm a little overconfident. Like I will stumble on my words or like ask the r- wrong question well, or that's something. Like human. But whatever. Exactly. Right. No, I know. Take your own advice. You're so right. Okay. Name three things that you guys have in common. <gasps> oh. oh my god. Okay. Hot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hot. Cool. Obviously. Okay. I do think we both have similar sense of humor. Similar senses of humor. It's like how deep. Go. You can go as deep as you I want. I feel like we're both like the same amount of sensitive, but not on the same things, which is really helpful because we can like understand each other. But yes. like if I'm down, you can like pick me up and vice versa. Totally. But I feel like we're both like equally sensitive and equally like not, don't give a fuck. I agree with that. I totally agree. Okay. What's the third? Like I, I want to say like our interests are the same, but like what are our interests? Like, do we have hobbies? We both like couch time. We love couch time. We like hanging out with each other. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're both kind of particular. Yes. And that's true. I, it's, it's really hard to think of another thing. I, it's just like we just we know what we prefer. And we're not afraid to say it. Love it. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. And we have similar. What else? We grew up in a similar this is area. Like, why is this question so hard? I don't know. Because like, what if we're like not friends at the end of this? <laughs> Wait, why do we like each other? No, I know I like you. Obviously. That. <laughs> okay. I just like, it's hard to pinpoint actually what we have in common. Yeah. Like our. Cl- I don't know. We like to like do things. <laughs> Wait, you guys, you know what it is? It's that we like to do things. That's actually third is that we like to do things. No, I we really have, I just feel like we have the same like um, intuition about situations, yes. people, whatever it is. Bingo. Like we are always on the same page about that. And so like I could be like, I don't know if I trust that person. You're like, oh, I already thought about that. Right. I know exactly what you mean. Right. You know, yeah. or like just certain situations. We like, like see we, life we, similarly. See, we, we see life similarly. Mm hmm. And that's exactly it, which makes sense considering how we met. True. The brothers. True. You know? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Okay. That was that was a toughie, but we made it there in the end. I was going to ask next, what do you value most in a friendship? But you kind of just answered that. Go us. Yeah, I feel like that those are the same. Yeah, those are what we look for as well. Yeah. So same answer. <laughs> okay what is your most treasured memory with each other oh my god that's really hard that is really hard I um like, i mean couch time that's like a default couch time obviously <laughs> is like yeah duh what is our most treasured memory well emma was the officiant at my wedding that's true which was a big one quite treasured yeah so I would say that's one of mine. But also like it's really hard because I feel like I like our friendship is made up of so many more special like small things. True. You know, like just like vo- voice noting. Voice notes. Like literally any conversation like, that we have, I just feel like a million times better after we have it. Right. Right. I feel like every time we hang out, we'll text each other like, oh, my God, I had so much fun. Right. And like we we sat on the couch for eight hours. Right. But it was like the or best. Like, laughed hysterically in a bathroom line at a bar. Yes. For no reason. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the littler moments. So deep. This is like also the most we've like really <laughs> talked, <laughs> talked about this. Like it's I feel true. like we're, there's like you see those things that are like the friends that like don't hug and stuff yeah well you don't like to hug and i do it's not that i don't like hugging it's just like not really my instinct right but i've come accustomed to my friends who i know are huggers like she knows i'm a hugger so she'll hug me and every time you'll say come on 
Give me we're a hug. Gonna hug. We're gonna hug. But we're not like super like lovey. No. Remember one time we like were crying, laughing, picturing Emma sitting on my lap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we were like watching videos, like, like, like you know how like on TikTok people will like. It'll be like, just go run around and like in the rain with your best friend or like it's like go like travel. Yeah. And it's just like it's like videos of like best friends and they're like holding hands or like hugging or something. And we were like trying to picture like us like just standing there like dancing together or like whatever it was. And we were like, like Emma Emma was like, imagine me sitting on your lap. And I was like, because one of them, actually, a girl was sitting no, it, on a lap, and I was like, that is no, so I was like, like, not actually natural. Can't. It's just not natural for us. No, it, that's just not how we are. But like other other friends, that sure. is physical touch. You know, yeah, that's just not couldn't be us. Not for us. That's okay. It's totally fine. Like, but I actually can't picture it at all. No. So, anyway, sorry we derailed. Okay, that was really cute. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite sad scene in a movie or TV show? Okay. Oh my God, you have one. I don't know if like, sometimes it's hard for me to think of like a favorite favorite. I'll just think in like the most more recent okay. times. Okay. I recently watched, oh gosh, the one with Channing Tatum and Rachel McAdams about time Okay. or something. She okay. like is in a car crash, can't remember anything. Yeah. And I was bawling the whole time. Oh, was there a specific scene? No. Just the whole thing? Actually, can I replace that? Yeah. Past Lives. Has anyone seen the movie Past Lives? I started it. I watched it on a plane. Emma's seen it. I watched it on a plane and I was sobbing. The very last scene, she knows, sent me over the edge. I looked over to Chase and I literally was like in full hysterics. And he was like, what just happened? It was so moving. Wait, maybe I so have beautiful. Seen it. Maybe. Sorry, just, just like fully interrupted you. Oh, that's okay. Um, it it was nominated for some. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know any of what they're called, but okay. But what do you think about that? Got you? It was just beautiful. I don't know. Did they find each other at the end. Um, it's like so much more complicated than that. <laughs> okay. Um, you should watch it. I don't know what got wait got me about it. Someone dies, right? <laughs> Yeah, no one that dies. Stuff. It's just like she was born in another country and like moved to the states. And right, 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 right. I remember that. And she reconnected with like her childhood crush and yes, best friend, yes, yes, and yes, it was yes, kind yes. of like who I could have been. Right, right, right. In a different world, another life, a yeah, past life. Right. And yeah, that's a that's th- those get me. Those kind of it really got me. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> Okay, this is like actually not a sad scene, but it is one of my favorite scenes in a movie. And I guess it's kind of sad. Okay. In the movie Something Borrowed, which like generally speaking is pretty horrific. Like if you're like it's it hasn't won any Oscars, you know what I mean? But Wait, like who's in it? Kate Hudson and Jennifer Jennifer Goodwin, is that her Jennifer? Name? No, it's literally Jennifer. Sorry. <laughs> no. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not, saying, I'm not saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm not saying Jennifer. <laughs> it's <is> Jennifer. <laughs> I don't have an. I'm not saying oh, it like sorry. with an accent. <laughs> I'm not saying Jennifer with an accent. I'm oh. quite literally saying Jennifer. Like okay. her name is G I N. Ginny. <laughs> no, Ginny. Ginny is like she's like um, she's been in shit. Okay. What is the other thing she was in? <clears throat> He's just not that into you. Oh. Like the main girl. Oh, the one who likes Justin Long. Yes. That's okay. Jin. Jin. That's Jenny. Jenny. Yeah. yeah. I love her. Yeah. No, I love her too. But she's, have you ever seen something borrowed? She's hooking up with her best friend's husband. Yes. Yes. The scene when Kate Hudson puts two and two together. Okay. And she's when like. she's like storming down the streets or something. No, she like. She le- she goes to the apartment. She's like, I'm breaking off the wedding, and she's like, and then she cu- and then she comes back and she's like, Is that Dax's jacket? Why right. is Dax's jacket here? Right, that part. Uh-huh. And then she starts crying, and it's like not that sad because she was like also cheating on him. 
if you haven't seen the movie, like, I guess this is a spoiler, but it's also been out for like years. Yeah. So I feel like there's like a timeline of spoilers. Like it's only can be a spoiler for so long. How long? You know? Like five years. That's what I was thinking. Like if you haven't seen something in five years, like it's going to be spoiled for you. Right. Especially feel like. the internet. Right. Exactly. I've watched like full movies in like three one minute TikTok clips. Me too. Me too. No, it's so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Hate so myself for that. Watching a full movie. No, it's bad. We need to stop <gasps> watching TikToks and start watching movies. <laughs> we actually do. Maybe read a book. That mainly. Then movies. I keep thinking you're far. Sorry. <laughs> it's the chair. I just keep wiggling. <laughs> Um, I thought the SIBO was coming <laughs> full swing. <laughs> no. That's a good one. I I like sad scenes. And sad songs. I love sad songs so much. Yeah. I feel like I have so many better ones, but that was just the first one that came to my mind. But if one. I think of any others, I'll, I'll let you know. Do you have any odd smells that you enjoy? Oh, freshly cut grass is nostalgic, but I don't enjoy it. It's uh, not like I like love the smell of it, but it it's like warm. Okay, that's not weird though. Really? I feel like people like hate freshly cut grass. No, I feel like that's the scent that people enjoy. Okay, never mind. Maybe like cigarettes. Like I actually like the cigarettes, smell. Cigarettes, skinny jeans. Okay, <laughs> that was personal attack. <laughs> that was a personal attack <laughs> on... What used to be my type. <laughs> I do like the smell of cigarettes, though. Okay. I think they smell good. And like cigars, because my dad and my grandpa, like, it reminds me of like my family smoking cigars. It reminds me of like barbecues. That's and the stuff. same thing, like nostalgic. Right. But like cigars is like not, like a I lot guess. of people could smell cigars and be like, ew. Yeah, true. But I like the smell of them. I don't know if I have. Sharpies. Sharpies. <laughs> do you like Sharpies? They're fine. I think they smell really good. Okay. Hmm. They're like whiteboard markers. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't know why. I'm thinking of like everything but this like smell. Like when you said whiteboard markers, I'm thinking about the crisp s- scratch, screech it makes when right. you like write it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not. Some people hate the smell of citrus on their fingers after like peeling an orange or a lemon. Who? But I love it. it. Well, that smells good. Some people hate it. Like, they'll literally ask someone else to peel their orange, not the TikTok trend kind of peel. The- Actually, maybe that's... Didn't some people kind of use that as an excuse when they were like, babe, can you peel maybe. my orange? Maybe. Did you ever do that? No. Me either. Did you ever do that, Emma? The TikTok mm-hmm. peel the oh. trend. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, but yeah. Neither did I. <laughs> Neither did I. Okay, anyway. So, I guess... The, that would be my answer. Cigars, Sharpies, cigarettes, and whiteboard markers. Okay. But I love something weird that has to do with the nose that I love is getting like COVID tested. Really? Like I really like that feeling. That's unique. I like and like sneezing. I feel like it hits the same like little. Do you sneeze after? No. Oh. I don't. But like it touches the same thing. Right. You know? Yeah. The little tingly thing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so that was just like a little, just a little add on for you guys if you were curious if I liked um, COVID tests. COVID tests. <laughs> I agree. I like this. It feels good. Oh my God. I've never met anyone else who agrees. It's a little tickle. I, like, little tickle. I like it too. Sun shivers down my spine. <laughs> oh, you know? Okay. What would you get? from the ice cream truck growing up? Or what, would, I don't want to assume that you stopped going to the ice cream truck. <laughs> what what so would be your ice cream you. truck order? <laughs> ice cream truck. You're right, I will never stop going to the ice cream I truck. I will never stop. Haven't been in, Haven't been in so since long. Since I could last remember. Well, but like, and but that's solely because not one's passed me by. <laughs> I would go still. I would go too. I don't want to close that door. What would I get from the ice cream truck? Tweety, with gumball eyes. I got Tweety or I got something chocolate. I would never get anything chocolate. Like like the ice cream sandwich. Oh, okay. I don't know why I said it's kind of it's cho- chocolatey. Yeah. Yeah. I would get an ice cream no, sandwich I would get or Tweety. Tweety. Tweety with the gumball eyes because I figured it was kind of like two for the price of one. Smart. You're getting gumballs. Yeah. But then the gumballs were like frozen kind of, then they kind of just like burst into powder. Mm-hmm. It was kind of like crunching on marble. 
Yeah, it really was. Something. You know what? Because Nara Smith has been making her own gum on TikTok. Love her. I'm going to need her to kind of make us I love her outfits. Me too. I wish I could look like that when I did anything. I wish I could look like that right after having a baby. I'm like, Me it's too. weird, Nara. That's, I'm going to try to put that one on. I don't even look that good when I go to like a formal wedding. <laughs> no. Like genuinely. I don't think I look that good at my wedding. <laughs> like I got, <laughs> like she's like, just woke up and I'm like, from from prom? Like <laughs> from the Met Gala? She also Where probably, did you just wake up from? She probably wakes up after like three hours of sleep and still looks like she's that. She's perfect. But anyway, so she's been making gum. Okay. Which I love. I want to try it. Me too, but what I want to try, I want her to make Tweety Pops with eyeball, gumball eyes. Do you think she would? Mm, I think she I think she could. Would okay. she? Yes. I hope so, Me but too. I really do think she could. <laughs> I think she could too. Yeah. If she's taking requests, Nara, if you're taking requests and you're listening, uh, Tweety Popsicle with gumball eyes. Love you. Gumball eyes. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> you kind of just sounded like that. Do you remember that? What? what? From Vine? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, can I keep going? Uh, keep going. Can you shut up about Dars? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I brought her up. Love you, girl. Miss uh, you. Love you. Um, give me your skincare routine, please. Thank you. I bet she takes Armra. No, I'm gonna look like that no, in a couple weeks. She made her own. She face makes lotion. armra. <laughs> no, she made her own face lotion for her husband, and she used beef tallow. Okay, see, that's why I could never do that because like, like whatever that now. is makes me want to throw up. Yeah, beef Please tallow. Don't. don't think about it too hard. I won't. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. Okay. Besides Nara Smith, <laughs> what what does what does your TikTok for you page consist of right now? Ooh. Oh. Um. That's a really good question. Um, I've been getting a lot of, you look like you love me. I don't that know song. what you keep talking about. Do you know that song? Thank you. And I don't know why I'm getting it, but I'm getting it a lot. <clears throat> I'm just, is my mine, page mine is literally just Taylor Swift. Yeah. Clips from our I get some Taylor Swift. Like that is all I get. I get some dogs and babies. Okay. Yeah. Mine's yeah. pretty chill. Same. Yeah, but my right now I would say it's mainly mainly Taylor. Especially with like all of the Travis stuff going on. Obviously. Yeah. It has to be. And I prefer it that way. I also get a lot of Sabrina. Okay. You love Sabrina, right? I do. Yeah. I mean I do too. <gasps> that yeah, my free page is just Taylor Swift. Same. Love. Okay. And Nara. Right. Duh. Okay. What is each of your guys' favorite store to walk around in? Ooh. Literally any store. Hot take. I don't think I'm a Target girl. Okay. I wasn't going to say that either because it actually kind of stresses me out a little bit. Yes. I was going to say the grocery store. Okay. Like when you, and I don't know if it's just because like now that's one of my pleasures in life, like when I'm like alone. Okay, Nara. Wait, I'm so Nara. You are. Oh my God. She's a cooking, cooking mama. So my, and I should be clear. I meant more like the snack aisle and the frozen foods. Okay. Yeah. What and kind, like, what store, what market? Well, like it depends really. Okay. Like I could, I could make do in any grocery store. Okay. Whole foods if I'm feeling crazy. Sure. And I do, I would say like, that's kind of where I, get the most excited because they have so many like random like knockoffs mm -hmm. like healthy knockoffs of right. things trader joe's is number one i feel they have like really but I don't good go snacks to one very but often. also so few yeah and sometimes that's frustrating but i love trader joe's that's my like go-to but i like send me to a pavilions <laughs> like literally ralph's anywhere yeah and i and i'll i'll have fun i think i like trinket stores oh my god wait <gasps> My favorite store is the UPS store. I recently discovered this. Okay. My favorite stores are Why? UPS stores or like postal annexes. That's so funny. Can you tell me about that? Yes. No, I actually really want to have a full conversation about this. Okay. Because they kind of stress me out. No. 
They shouldn't. They're actually really helpful, but They're I feel stressed so... because I never know. Like FedEx, well, one of them makes you tape your own box. Where some of them are like, we'll tape your box for you. I've only I'm only going to ones where they're taping my box. And now I keep <laughs> I keep tape in my car, in case they won't tape my box. It's so insane for someone not to tape your box. I know, but like sometimes you can't choose where you take your box. Like they decide for you. I hate. I hate talking about our boxes. Okay. Because it sounds like vagina. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doesn't it? I wasn't getting that, but okay. that's okay. No, no, no. I've never been to one where they say tape your own box because I probably wouldn't be thinking this. But like, I actually love these stores. I'm extremely passionate about it. And I realized it last week because okay. I had to mail my aura ring back. And normally that kind of like admin would yeah. stress me out because yes. I'm like, I don't know where to go. I don't right. know where to print this thing. I don't know. Like all of these things, they do everything for you. Everything. And they're so nice. These stores, by the way, pristine. Like they're so clean all the time. And they're so like. They are. Like you go in and you're like, hey, I I think I have this QR code and it's going to print out. And they're like, oh my God, I got it. You're so right. I got it for you. And they're so helpful. And I'm like jealous of the people who work there because not jealous, but I'm like, I hope that they know that this is a really cool job. Yeah. Because like, I feel like it might not be their passion. Right. But like it's really cool. And like they can just do so much. And you know what? There's like so much hope. There really is. There's so much hope because there's things going in. There's things coming out. They're, it's like their job's kind of really important. It's so important. They keep the world going. Do you remember when the UPS in the Palisades knew me by name because my job sent me there so much? Yes. They were really that lovely. That was kind of goals. They were lovely. Yeah. And they were like, we know what you're doing. Got You're, their little QR. Yes. And they were so patient with me. They're so patient. They're so kind. They can print things out for you. They can print posters, like literally posters out. You're right. And they can like print pictures. Oh, you need a passport picture taken? UPS store. Oh, you want a bag sure. of Cheez-Its? We got UPS it. UPS store. They have like, they you have need like. Post-its? A notebook? Pe pens. Pens? literally anything they have like journals i know and, like coloring and sudoku they have and books like scholar. inspirational books you're right that's a beautiful store it's amazing <laughs> it is amazing seriously good stuff i've been having to do a lot of mail because i'm like changing my name and stuff and right. so like i keep having to go but i keep like just finding any reason to go to the postal annex missed you guys and they're you always just bring like, them coffee I should. That'd be so cute. They would be like, what That's is not this? my order. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it'd be kind of crazy, but I don't know. I just love it. I yeah. love going in with a package and they're like boxing it up for me and taping it. Taping it, of course. Anyway, sorry, I just kind of blacked out there, but I like <laughs> actually really have been needing to get that off my chest. Thank you so much for for leading me there because that's been heavy like i i like went i was telling cody about it and i was like wait i need to tell the circlers i need to tell the circlers about this and you did I now did. everyone's gonna go to ups they should it's gonna be their favorite i don't store. know if it's like that's the thing is it a ups store or is it a fedex store because like i go they're to all different i go to one that does all of it they're all different and the same <laughs> that is so true no but i used there's like a fedex store that i went into once and i was like Hmm. This isn't what I'm used to. Because there's a FedEx by me who's posted my printed a poster. They took my passport ID. Oh they my were god! So helpful. They're all the same and all different. Any sort of like mailing yeah. store, postal store. They're the best. They're the best. Support your local postal stores, <laughs> and it's like UPS. Like that is that local? <laughs> Apparently not. I would have said yes. Support your, but your support your local UPS store. Right. Perfect. Or just your your local postal store. Perfect. Perfect postals. <laughs> I told Cody I wanted to like just open one. Oh my god, you should. Try it. I don't think that's something you just try. Like I yeah. feel like I would have to like it'd be like a full time no, job. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you could do that, really. Yeah. But that's okay. Well if all of you guys ever stop listening to Circle Time and I need something to do and you're like looking for me. Look for perfect postals on the map <laughs> and it'll be me and Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
and we will tape your boxes. <laughs> and we will always tape your boxes, obviously. We're not fucking crazy people. No. Okay, well, we have to end this episode. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't sound too excited. That was weird. She was a little bit too excited for that, but I've blacked out. I don't know how long we've been talking. Do you want to do one more question? <gasps> yes. yes. And and if you liked this episode, I'm actually not going to get your feedback, but we're going to keep recording because I have to do two episodes. So there's more Emma in next week. Okay. Woo-hoo! Okay. Um, we're doing one more. Okay. What pop culture moment lives rent free in your head? Oh, that's oh, tough. Wow. I, I love those TikToks when it's like, don't forget these moments. Yeah. And it's like a series of them. Yes. I always forget them though same and i'm like i'm never like i don't know that that i could just pick one yeah maybe for me the first one that came to my mind is ryan gosling and rachel mcadams doing their kiss that was good i thought you were gonna say something more recent i just feel like that's so iconic isn't that kind of the question yeah that's why i gave that answer oh no i was saying i thought you were gonna say something more recent perhaps about a world tour Oh, well, everybody already knows how much I love Taylor Swift. Okay, Travis Kelsey coming on stage. No. What? <laughs> it's going to ruin the world tour. Oh, my God. That is my one of my favorite things to say right now. <gasps> yeah. You I are thought you were so going to talk right. about that one. Oh, my God. Not Taylor's world tour. I mean, that one's also important, but. Wow, no, you're so right. This is going to ruin the tour. Like, I cannot gonna, stop saying oh, that. Oh, ruin the tour. Sorry, not world tour. No, he says this is going to ruin the tour. Person responds, what tour? Then you say the world tour. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I. That's what came to my mind first. That's a really good response. one. That's a good one. What's yours? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I can't think of any. You don't have a single one. Can you lob me a few? <laughs> <laughs> What's coming to mind for you? Um, Other than Rachel McAdams. I mean, that one's a great one. Maybe I can't think of any. Okay. Can you Same. think of any? I was gonna say, look at the Google Doc right now. <gasps> oh. The I just Google put Doc. in a picture. Oh. Oh my God. Iconic. There they are. There they are. It's giving the same energy from earlier when we went back to back and posed. Why did we do that pose? Cody did it. No, oh. the pose. Oh, because we were going to a themed. Our birthday, but the photo is from college. The photo is from college. I hope that you know that that is an old photo. We did not pose for this birthday picture. Cody made it. I thought it was hilarious. We, I sent him that picture, but but we're matching. I think we were just coincidentally matching. So classic. I mean, like an army green top and black shorts and like combat boots was college. And we're. And to be clear, we're both wearing docks. Oh, are we? I think so. Cute. Like, what was with the hat? Okay, so because I had that hat. That's that definitely was my, yours. Yes. Yeah. And you put it on. And then I was like, wait, I have a bandana. Then I could wear something red on my head because then we could be matching. But we didn't wear it out. No. It was just for the photo. So we we chose to put those things on our heads and pose like that for simply no reason. I like, I couldn't be more stiff. Do you know what I mean? Like, I am like full robot. Robotronics. Like, do you remember same that thing. from School of Rock? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the same thing, but it's like, girls, you don't look hot. No. <laughs> no. Sweethearts, let's Girlies. not. No. Not the best pose, but cute. Cute for what? It's like it's like oh cute yeah Aww. not like cute yeah no we weren't we weren't actually doing a good job but we're doing a good job because like is that the night we ate Jack in the box in your bed and took a picture yeah I'm I think so and I texted that brother <laughs> it, all it all comes back and don't you worry didn't respond wait <laughs> I was thinking about a different text no. Okay. Same night, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, we'll continue this in the next episode. Okay. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. Thank you for circling with us, Emma. And thank you for circling with us, Emma. All my Emmas. And we'll see you guys next week. Love you. Love ya. Bye. Bye.
Please note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.